All right, so I was um, looking to replace the ender before I realized that I could do uh, manual bed leveling. And I ran across a $129 Sunlu printer with auto leveling and all that for $129. But when I looked at it, I thought, see, this is all Creality stuff. And then I saw that it could be bought in more than one size. And I saw this one for $199, and I thought, my God, what the hell? So this thing comes with manual bed leveling, if you look carefully. It uses a ender style hot end. It has a plug-in dryer. It plugs in. It has built-in tool storage. Um, it has what they call clog detection. I don't know particularly what that is, but it's 310 by 310 by 400. The other one right here, if we click on it, is 129. And it's it's quite similar to the Ender 3. But uh, this is similar to the CR10 or this one here. And after, since getting the small printer, I really didn't like the small bed size. But this thing here, See, the dryer plugs into the thing and you control it from the board. And I guess it cannot be used otherwise, but... So you have this dryer that you can feed your filament from right into the printer. So I might be running into problems because of my filament not being dry. Anyway, I saw this and I still had a $147 Amazon gift card so I decided to order it and it will be here Monday I also ordered other parts so anyway the Sunlu brand uh, is known for their filament that's mostly what they're known for but it looks like they've put together a printer um, that is basically Creality based so like that's cool because I don't want to buy like a Elegoo Neptune or one of these new printers that's really cool but uses different tips and different parts. I, I want everything to be like kind of open sourced. So anyway, um, so I'll let you guys know when I get that. I think that should be pretty cool because you can manually bed level it. And also I, um, I found a way to manually level the bed on the uh, Ender 3 V3 SE also. We'll make a video about that in a little bit.